Nomination Day. For her most recent performance, Luna Munch won the Starlight Accolade for Best Acting. Thank you so much everyone who voted for me. It means the world to me. She said a few more words and thanked her husband for everything, for being her rock all the way through her career. Congrats, love. I knew you'd win the award. You're amazing. You think? Of course, I do, and you know it. I do, but I love when you say it. Before we got home, there's a place I want to go. If this is okay with you. Sure, Luna, wherever you want to. They went to Forgotten Hollow at his parents' home. They asked them if they could put a symbolic grave there when they got back together for the baby they'd lost. Hey baby, I'm sorry I never gave you a name. Today mommy is feeling better. Your brothers and sister are home with their grandpa and grandma. Mommy just found out you're having another sibling. I wish you were here with us. Here it's your daddy. I couldn't agree more with you mom. It would be nice to have you here with us. We'll always love you and remember you. Thank you for everything, my son. Thank you, Eli. It means a lot to me. It's for me too. He'll always be missed and never replaced. It's time to tell your other parents about the new baby. My mom probably told them already. Well, maybe she hasn't, but since we're here, we can talk to them. Of course, sweetheart, it's always nice to spend time with my family. It's just your parents, they are with the triplets, maybe they're tired or something. They love to be with them, they're fine. Mom, did you tell them about the news? As much as I was tempted to, I didn't. It wasn't my place to tell. What perfect Elijah did now, if it's news, it must be more kids. Kids, don't even start. See, he's your favorite, isn't he? Everybody loves Elijah. Alexander strode out from the room and Elijah mimicked. Everybody loves Elijah. <laughs> he's so annoying and he's jealous of you. I know, right? Because I'm flawless. Hey, you too. Don't be mean to your brother. Come here, EMO boy. You didn't deny it. Are you and Luna are having another baby? We are. I'm happy for you guys. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Elijah. And anything you need, you can call us, all right? Yeah, I know. Thanks, Dad. I heard it right. Another baby. Wow, you're just like me. Yeah. Congrats, Grandpa. I'm so happy for you, son. And yay, more babies. Hi, Dad. I have some news for you. Is Luna pregnant? Did you know? I didn't. But this family is getting only two types of news, marriage and babies. You're right. I don't think we can count on our fingers anymore. Yeah, I'm not very social, but I love our big family. I'm happy for you, boy. They were back home. Hi dad, we're back. Wolfgang put the baby in the bassinet and gestured to the door so they could talk outside the room. Thank you dad. Where is mom? I love being here with my grandbabies. And your mother was feeling tired and I told her to go back home. Where were you? Sorry, we went to Forgotten Hollow after the ceremony. I, we have some news. I'm pregnant, again. Are you kidding me? I wish I was dad, but we're happy. That's amazing. Luna, congrats. I wish your mother and I had more kids. I love your brothers, but you know I wanted more wolfies. It would be nice, dad. Well, we won't have any more kids. But at least we have a lot of grandkids. I'm just happy. You're welcome, I guess. She needed to practice for her next gig. She called her co-stars to rehearsal. They performed a romantic scene. When they finished reading the script for the next gig, they were gossiping about their co-workers. Luna thinks he has a nice ass, but she didn't flirt with him or anything like that. When Elijah came home, she kind of blushed and saw that the man liked her attention. Hello, I'm Elijah and you are? 
I'm Kazuki, I work with Luna, I'm an actor as well. I see. It's late, I should get going. I'll walk you outside. I'm outside, you can go back there. Your wife must be waiting for you. You know what, I'm feeling thirst. Elijah compelled him to drink his blood. In the meantime, Luna was eating and chatting with her dad, both clueless on what's going on outside the house. Thank you for your magical drink, Kazuki. It was delicious. Why did you do that? Because I could see what you want from my wife. Now don't ever think you stood a chance. Stay away from her as much as you can. Now run. Iris wants to sleep, but B is sleeping in her bed. She doesn't like it. Elijah tries to calm her down. What do you think about playing with daddy, my little princess? Daddy, do. <laughs> when they stopped playing, she was really tired, and Elijah tucked her in. Sleep tight, little princess. Jesse woke up. Is he okay, Eli? Uh. I just got here, but probably sleepy and hungry. I'm gonna make him something. You sure? Yeah, stay here with him. I'll be back. Fuck, that hurts. Elijah had to go to work and she was all alone with the triplets. She tried to change Jesse's diaper and something went very wrong. Mom, for watcher's sake, I need you or dad or both. I'm too tired to take care of them alone, please. Hurry or I'm gonna lose it. In the meantime, downstairs Iris and Elliot were playing together, and Iris pulled her brother into a hug. They were having fun together. Jesse was feeling alone and left behind. Hi my boy, it's Grandpa Wolf. Jesse wasn't excited to see Wolfgang, he wanted his mom or daddy. But Wolfgang kept talking and doing funny things and Jesse laughed. He put him in bed and read a story for him, and soon Jesse fell asleep. When Jesse slept Wolfgang went on the first floor to help Aurora with the two of them. Wolfgang watched his granddaughter, while Aurora played with Elliot. Next day when Luna tried to give Iris a bath, Iris refused and Luna got impatient with her. Iris is a mini Luna indeed. Luna gave up on bathing Iris and left her there with her brother. Iris made a spooky drawing, a witch just like her mom and her. Luna was making a cross stitch for the toddler's room and started to feel pain and cramps. She took her kids and ran to the hospital. Every bad thing that happened to her came back to mind. She doesn't want to lose another baby. Gladly the baby was fine, she was fine and she could breathe again. After she got home she tried to call Aurora and Wolfgang but couldn't reach them. So she called another friend to come help her. Since it was daylight, she didn't want to bother Elijah's family. Do you need help cooking? Nope Leon, I'm almost done. I just need to lie down. I called you if the babies need anything can you take care of their needs? Sure, anything you need. See, it's done. So, what happened? I had to go to the hospital, I thought I was having a miscarriage again. But I'm fine, the baby is fine. I just need to slow down and ask for help, hence why you're here. Glad to help. Thank you for being here Liam, it means a lot. I'll rest now, if things get a little too much you can call me okay? I know they can be a little too much sometimes. I can handle them, Luna. Just go. Take care of yourself and the baby. Uncle Liam was taking a good care of them. At some point, Liam wondered if they were still together this would be his life. He'd like to live like this and have a bunch of babies with her. Liam's thoughts were interrupted when Elijah got home and saw him. Liam, what are you doing here? I think this is a conversation you need to have with your wife, not me. Anyway, since you're here, she doesn't need me anymore. Good night, Elijah. Being the only baby vampire is hard. Jesse stays awake at night, while his brother, 
sister and mother sleep. He feels kind of lonely often. The only company he has is his father's, but he tries to have fun as much as he can. It's dawn and he cried and called for his mother. Luna woke up and picked him up. Oh my baby boy, mommy's here. Everything will be all right. So, you're going to tell me why he was here? Please, don't be mad at me. I tried to call my mom, but neither she or dad answered, so I called him. I thought I was losing our baby, but the doctor said I just needed to rest, so I called him to watch the kids. Why didn't you call me? I would leave early or something. You were scared and alone. Why you always want to do things alone when you have me? Eli, I needed to think fast and I don't want you to get in trouble at your job. We need the money. I'm not working as much as before because of the triplets and because I'm pregnant. We need your job. I know, but you and the baby are more important to me. I can find another job if we need to. I just want to be there for you when you need. And you are, always? And why I feel like you never come to me to ask for help. You even called Liam. Fuck. Liam. Really? Hey. I think I just know you're doing a lot and don't want to pressure you too. I love you. Not him okay? Okay. I'm glad you're okay my baby. Oh. It's a boy. By the way. Another boy? I hope it's another vampire to make Jesse company. I love you too, so much. You're everything to me. I love you too, so much. You're everything to me too. Luna went to her parents because it was summer holiday, and she wanted to grill something and enjoy her family. Meanwhile, Jesse was looking for a book. Grandpa bought you a little pool for you and your siblings. Let me take you there. Are you ready, baby girl? Shadow came to see her. He liked Iris very much. She reminds him of Luna. So mom, me and Elijah, we want to spend the night out, just the two of us. Maybe we could leave the kids here with you and dad. Perhaps sleep here. Is that okay? Of course, honey. I don't mind. And I'm sure your dad won't. Thank you. Elliot and Wolfgang were having the best time of their lives. Dad. The kids will stay here with you and mom today. Me and Eli are leaving, okay? Okay, Luna girl, we're having fun here. Say bye to your mom. She took Elijah's hand and lead them into the pool. I'm gonna jump, darling. <laughs> what was that? It was epic, right? Sure. Her fans watching them, she was feeling uncomfortable. She needed to go to the restroom. Hey man. Oh me, hi, are you Luna's husband right? Yes, I am. Elijah turned into his dark form and compelled him and drink from the man. Now you can leave and don't be creepy again. She's a person and needs to have her privacy respected. Sorry, not sorry, bye. They went back home, one night alone without the triplets. They wanted to spend it in a certain way. Dad, Iris and Elliot won't stop talk about you. I think they miss you. Can you come here? Mom, where's Guanpa? He's almost here. Guanpa Wolf. Hey, my baby girl, did you miss me? Yes. <laughs> well, since you're here, I'm gonna sleep. I'm so tired of this pregnancy. Elliot wanted to be funny with Wolfgang. He grabbed Grandpa's nose and said it was hidden. Wolfgang thought it was cute. He loves his grandchildren. Elijah saw Luna awake feeling sad sitting on the bed. What's going on? I'm fading away. I knew this was gonna happen, Eli. After having kids, I want to be here with them, but I want to be able to do my job. It's temporary, Luna. We can figure it out. I can quit my job and maybe gather the band together. Do some gigs. I don't know. Anything for you, sweetheart. Thank you, Eli, for everything. Luna kissed him and tucked him by his shirt. You don't want to talk about it anymore? No, I just want you, preferably inside me. You're a wicked little witch, you know that. 
He leaned and kissed her. So this is what you wanted? Yes. When it was morning, Iris woke up and she was bathing the little girl. She's gone into labor. I know I said I wanted to go to the hospital this time because I was scared to happen the same as before. But I don't want to stay away from the triplets right now. It's your choice, whatever you need. Thank you, Eli. Grandpa and Grandma are here to help. Edgar was also here. Eli, I thought I could do this again, but I can't. It's too painful. Yes, you can and I'm here with you. Hey, look at me. Do you remember when I told you you're the strongest person I've known? I still believe that. You're strong, sweetheart. Eli, I think I feel the head. It's burning. Oh God, it hurts so fucking bad. Eli, I think I'm dying. Seriously, I'm dying. It should be easy this time, right? The minute the baby got out, it was a relief and she felt no pain, just joy. See, you did it. Our boy is here. He's so cute. Hi, Damon. It's your mom. He's beautiful just like his mother. I love you, darling. I love you too. You're so cute, my boy. He's so small. I'm not used to it anymore. We'll get used to it. 